Hello guys, this is Wits Lounge, learning made easy. And in today's video, we are going to be understanding the concept of stereoisomerism. Mind you, when you get to the description, you'll see a link to this earlier study about isomerism, as well as others that will help you understand this concept more. With that said, let's move ahead. What is stereoisomerism? Stereoisomerism is a form of isomerism in which different compounds possess the same molecular formula, structural formula, but differ in their three-dimensional orientation of atoms in space. What does this simply mean? It means that the structure is the same, the molecular formula is the same, however, the arrangement of the atoms around a particular plane actually differs. Let's look into that to understand that fully. There are two major forms of stereoisomerism and they are geometric isomerism and optical isomerism. Let's delve into them to understand them. Geometric isomerism is the form of stereoisomerism which occurs around planar bonds of organic compounds. Yes, the form of stereoisomerism that occurs around planar bonds of organic compounds is referred to as geometric isomerism. And when I mean planar bonds, I mean double bonds, where you have carbon atoms with sp2 hybridization um, uh, bound together, the type of bond formed around them is planar. And the form of isomerism that occurs between them or around them is geometric isomerism. Having said that, there are conditions required for a compound to exhibit geometric isomerism. The conditions to exhibit geometric isomerism include, number one, compounds must possess double bond. So any organic compound that would exhibit geometric isomerism must possess a double bond. The second condition is that each carbon atom of the double bond must be attached to two different species. And finally, there must be a similar species between the carbon atoms of the double bond. Let's consider this example to understand it more. So, once you have a double bond existing, it has a chance of exhibiting geometric isomerism. So, we go to the next condition. Imagine, for instance, I had um, CH3 here, and I had CH3 here, and I had hydrogen here, and I had hydrogen here. You will notice that this particular compound cannot exhibit geometric isomerism. Why? We said that each of the carbon atoms must be attached to two different things. This is methyl and methyl, same thing. This is hydrogen and hydrogen, same thing. Uh, so it cannot exhibit um, geometric isomerism. If you had something like this, where you have C double bond C, um, CH3, uh, CH3, and this was CH3, and this was hydrogen. This two cannot exhibit geometric isomerism because each of them must be attached to different species here you have methyl methyl so automatically this cannot exhibit geometric isomerism so if you wanted to exhibit geometric isomerism let's consider a compound like um uh, but two in here you have this hydrogen methyl hydrogen good so this is but two in you will notice that this particular compound the carbon atoms of the double bond are attached to two different species hydrogen methyl here hydrogen methyl here so there it exhibits um, geometric isomerism. Then finally, you have to check if there is a similar species between the two. Yes, in this particular compound, there is methyl and methyl, hydrogen and hydrogen, which means there is at least one similar species between the carbon atoms. If it was, C double bond to carbon, and then I had something like Cl, I had iodine, and then probably had CH3 here, and had hydrogen. You notice that these things are different. And these two are also different, but there is nothing similar between the carbon atoms. And because there is no similar species between the carbon atoms, this does not exhibit geometric isomerism. Okay, with that said, let's get to understand the two types of geometric isomerism, which are cis and trans geometric isomerism. Now, the example that I'll be used to describe this is but two in. However, before that, when you say cis, cis simply means same. And when you say trans, trans simply means different. So when they're on the same side, similar species on the same side, you have cis geometric isomerism. When different species are on the same side of the bond, you have trans geometric isomerism. Okay, so let's consider but 2 in. That is C double bond C but 2 in. You have hydrogen. Yeah, this is but 2 in. And this is also but two in. All 
But then, these are two different types of Butsu in. Now, if you notice, this is one of the bond, this is the second bond. On this side of the bond, you have hydrogen and methyl. Different. And what did I say is different? Trans. So once you have at least one side where uh, you have different species attached, automatically it means that you have trans Butsu in. While in this case, you have the same elements or the same species on the same side. This is hydrogen, hydrogen. This is also methyl, methyl. Hence, what is this going to be? This is going to be cis boot to in. Okay, let's try out other examples to explain this. The next example we are going to be considering is 1-chloropropane. One 1-chloropropane, one and that is CH3. H Cl hydrogen. Okay, so what form of isomerism is exhibited here? What form of geometric isomerism? It's quite simple because you have hydrogen and methyl. They are not the same thing. Once different things occur on one side of the bond, what you refer to it as is trans. So this is going to be a one chloro trans propene. One chloro trans propene. While this one is going to be a situation where I have double bond and I have hydrogen here, hydrogen here, the Cl is here, and then the CH3. So you notice that when I have at least the same, the same um, species in at least one side of the bond, though they differ here, but once at least I have at least one side where you have the same species on the same side, automatically this is a cis, cis geometric isomerism. So this is going to be one chloro cis propane and that's that basically so you notice that when it is trans uh, geometric isomerism you have different things on the same side of the bond that is this bond this side now this particular bond has hydrogen metal they are not the same this side has chloro hydrogen they are not the same but here once you have at least one side of the bond where the same species occur here is hydrogen here is hydrogen it means that this is cis uh, propane and stuff okay so you have that this is an example of where geometric isomerism occur you could try out other compounds where you could find geometric isomerism